Hey guys, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR Pharma Tube. In the preceding video, we discussed about the anticonvulsants, their chemical classifications, structures and mechanism of action. If you did not watch the video, hit the i button on top right of this video to watch it. And to watch the other topics of medicinal chemistry and other subjects of pharmaceutical sciences, click on the links given right below this video. In this lesson, we shall learn the first type of anticonvulsants that is barbiturates, the individual drugs such as phenobarbitone and methorbital. Barbiturate anticonvulsants are a group of drugs derived from barbituric acid. The barbiturates are substituted pyrimidine derivatives with an ureaid configuration. Although most barbiturates have sedative hypnotic activity, only a few barbiturates show anticonvulsant or anti-seizure activity. Paradoxically, many barbiturates cause convulsions at larger doses. Four important barbiturates clinically useful as anticonvulsants are phenobarbitone, methylphenobarbital, methorbital, and primidone. Only phenobarbital and primidone remain in common use. Phenobarbitone was the first synthetic drug recognized as having anti-seizure activity and remains one of the most widely used anti-epileptic drugs. Its N-methyl homologue methylphenobarbitone is also an anti-epileptic drug. It is N-demethylated by the hepatic microsomal enzymes and most of its activity can be attributed to its conversion to phenobarbitone. Like phenobarbitone, methylphenobarbitone is also widely used in grand mal seizures. Besides barbiturates, the other sedative and hypnotic drugs such as chlormethizole, its edicylate salt and peraldehyde are also used in the treatment of epilepsy. In laboratory animals, phenobarbitone is effective by several tests in non-toxic doses. It is active against maximal electroshock and it elevates the threshold for pentylene tetrazole stimulation. The mechanism of anti-seizure action of barbiturates is unknown but is thought to act by suppressing activity of the central nervous system. Barbiturate anticonvulsants enhance the action of GABA which is inhibitory neurotransmitter and inhibits initiation of discharge that would start the seizure. They facilitate GABA-mediated opening of chloride channels and increases effectiveness of GABA. Barbiturates are used to treat all types of seizures except absence seizures. Phenobarbitone served as a model for most of the drugs introduced before 1965. Barbiturates have been extensively described under the chapter on sedatives and hypnotics. The barbiturates chemistry, synthesis, SDT character, properties, structure activity relationships, chemical uses and the individual drugs of barbiturates are discussed under the heading sedatives and hypnotics. The links are given right below this video. Watch them for an extensive knowledge. Coming to the individual drugs, the first drug of anticonvulsant barbiturates is phenobarbitone. Phenobarbitone was discovered in 1912 and it was introduced into the market as a sleeping aid. It was serendipitously found to be useful in the treatment of epilepsy. In comparison with anesthetic barbiturates such as phenobarbital, phenobarbitone is preferred in the chronic treatment of epilepsy because it is less sedative at anti-seizure doses. Phenobarbitone is the oldest of the currently available anti-seizure drugs and the drug is no longer a first choice in the developed countries because of its sedative properties and many drug interactions. Phenobarbitone is also known as phenobarbital or phenobarb. It is a long-acting barbituric acid derivative with antipsychotic property. It is chemically known as 5-ethyl-5-phenylbarbituric acid or 5-ethyl-5-phenylhexahydropyrimidine 246-trione. Synthesis of phenobarbitone. Barbiturates are obtained via condensation reactions between a derivative of diethylmalonate and urea in the presence of a strong base. The synthesis of phenobarbitone uses this common approach as well but differs in the way in which this malonate derivative is obtained. The reason for this difference is due to the fact that 
aryl halides do not typically undergo nucleophilic substitution reaction in malonic ester synthesis in the same way as aliphatic organosulfates or halocarbon do to overcome this lack of chemical reactivity two dominant synthetic approaches using benzyl cyanide as a starting material have been developed the first of the two methods consists of ethanolysis of a benzyl cyanide in the presence of an acid giving phenyl acetic acid ethyl ester this reaction is known as a pinner reaction subsequently the methylene group present in phenyl acetic acid ethyl ester undergoes acylation a reaction known as a crossed clays and condensation using a diethyl oxalate forms a diethyl ester of phenyl oxobutane dioic acid this dioic acid upon heating easily loses carbon monoxide yielding a diethyl phenyl malonic acid alkylation of this product using ethyl bromide in the presence of sodium ethoxide leads to the formation of alpha phenyl alpha ethyl malonic ester finally a condensation reaction with urea gives the desired product that is phenobarbitone The second method of synthesis utilizes diethyl carbonate in the presence of a strong base such as sodium ethoxide to give alpha phenyl cyanoacetic ester. Alkylation of this ester using ethyl bromide proceeds via a nitrile anion intermediate to give the alpha phenyl alpha ethyl cyanoacetic ester. This product is then converted into the 4 amino derivative upon condensation with urea. Finally acidic hydrolysis of the resulting product gives a phenobarbitone a new synthetic route based on diethyl 2 ethyl 2 phenyl malonate and urea has been described phenobarbitone appears as colorless crystals or a white crystalline powder it is insoluble in benzene soluble in ethanol ethyl ether and very slightly soluble in water it is odorless and has a slightly bitter taste It has melting point at 174 degrees centigrade. A saturated aqueous solution is acid to litmus. It is sensitive to air and moisture. When heated to decomposition, it emits toxic fumes of nitrogen gases. Mechanism of action of phenobarbitone. Phenobarbitone is an allosteric modulator which extends the amount of time the chloride ion channel is open. by interacting with the gaba a receptor subunits through this action phenobarbitone increases the flow of chloride ions into the neuron which decreases the excitability of the postsynaptic neuron hyperpolarizing this postsynaptic membrane leads to a decrease in the general excitatory aspects of the postsynaptic neuron by making it harder to depolarize the neuron the threshold for the action potential of the postsynaptic neuron will be increased phenobarbitone stimulates gaba to accomplish this hyperpolarization direct blockade of excitatory glutamate signaling is also believed to contribute to the hypnotic or anticonvulsant effect that is observed with the barbiturates phenobarbitone is marketed under the trade name luminal It is commonly used to treat seizures in the young children while other medications are generally used in older children and adults. It is occasionally used to treat trouble sleeping, anxiety and drug withdrawal and to help with the surgery. Phenobarbitone may be used intravenously, injected into a muscle or taken by mouth. And the second drug in this lesson is methorbital. Methorbital was patented in 1905 by Emil Fischer. It is also known as methorbitone or methyl barbital. Its IUPAC name is 5,5-diethyl, 1-methyl, 1,3-diazinane, 2,4,6-trione. It is a barbiturate anticonvulsant that is similar to phenobarbitone. Methorbital is synthesized by condensation of 2,2-diethyl malonic acid with orthomethyl isourea in the presence of sodium ethoxide. Methorbital is a solid compound having melting point at 150.5 degrees centigrade. Mechanism of action of methorbital. Methorbital binds at a distinct binding site associated with a chloride ionophore at the GABA A receptor increasing the duration of time for which the chloride ionophore is open. Therefore, 
the postsynaptic inhibitory effect of GABA in the thalamus is prolonged. All of these effects are associated with marked decreases in GABA sensitive neuronal calcium conductance. The net result of barbiturate action is acute potentiation of inhibitory GABAergic tone. Barbiturates also act through potent and direct inhibition of excitatory AMPA type glutamate receptors resulting in a profound suppression of glutaminergic neurotransmission. Methorbital is marketed as Gemonil by Abbott Laboratories. It is used for the treatment of epilepsy. Methorbital is used in the treatment of short-term insomnia. It belongs to a group of medicines called CNS depressants that induce drowsiness and relieve tension and nervousness. Little analgesia is conferred by barbiturates. Their use in the presence of pain may result in excitation. This is the list of references followed for the lesson. That's all in this video. The barbiturates, a type of anticonvulsants and individual drugs like phenobarbitone and methorbital. In the next lesson, we will learn about the Hydentoins class of anticonvulsants. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.